What's up, titas and titas? Jerry Dan Conde here, or Tita Jerdy, and you're watching Tita Fit. In this channel, we talk about health, we talk about fitness, and we give you tips that will help you maximize your lifestyle to have you living your healthiest and best life. Alright okay, guys, so in this video, we are going to talk about how your body burns calories or how your body uses calories. If you like that topic, please don't forget, subscribe to this channel at huwag niyong kakalimutan gulpihin yung like button na yan. Okay guys, gulpe. Dapat kulay blue na yung button, saka gulpe niya sa kanya. Alright, so let's begin. What is a calorie? Why do we use calories as a unit of measure for the food we take in and for the energy we we spend. Calories is basically how the US or in some other countries measure the energy contained inside food and also measure the energy that we expend pagka gumagawa tayo ng mga certain activities. Nakasanayan lang natin sa Pilipinas at sa ibang bansa na calories siya. Pero in certain countries in the in Europe, I think they use joules. That's the the unit of measure they use. So basically think of calories in joules like pounds and kilos. So, it's a unit of measure. That's all it is. A calorie is actually a shortened version of kilocalorie. Now, a kilocalorie is the amount of energy it you need to raise the um, temperature, yung, yung init ng isang kilo ng tubig by one degree. So, it takes one calorie para painitin ng one degree ang isang kilong tubig. Does that make sense to you? Alright. So, let's move on. Now, uh, how many calories do we burn in a day? To find out how many calories we burn in a day, we have to figure out what's called your total daily energy expenditure or TDEE for short. Uh, to find your TDEE, uh, kailangan ng konting math. Okay guys, so uh, pagpasensyahan nyo na, this post will have a little bit of math pero nothing too complicated, just multiplication, addition, subtraction. Dun lang naman tayo pupunta. So the first thing is, you have to figure out your BMR or your basal metabolic rate. Now, what is basal metabolic rate? Basal metabolic rate is the minimum number of calories it takes for you to function in a day. Okay, so ito yung pinakamababa na kailangan mo na calories para magawa yung mga processes sa katawan mo. Such as paghinga, kasi pag hindi ka huminga, alam natin na mangyayari sa'yo, okay? Baka matepok ka. Pag upo, yung mga ganyan. Pag iisip, Okay, dun sa ating mga medyo nag-iisip-isip dyan, okay? At sa pag-iisip nyo kung bakit hindi nyo pag inugul pa yung like button na yan at di pa kayo nagsasubscribe, okay? At pagtulog, correct. Sleeping burns quite a number of calories, okay? So, to be specific, there is a range of calories. This will depend on your age, your weight, also your sex. So, sleep burns 38 to 56 calories per hour. Uh, from a range of about 125 pounds to 185 pounds yung timbang ng tao na to. Okay? So, 38 to 56 calories per hour. That will amount to a bare minimum of 288 calories if this is a 125 person, sleep, 125 pound person sleeping for 7 hours a night all the way to 504 calories if this is a 185 pound person who sleeps about 9 hours per night. So, there's a big range. So, imagine yun, guys, sa pagtulog lang, makaburn ka ng 500 calories. So, Tito Jerdy, matulog na lang kaya ako maghapon. Makaburn naman pa ng calories. Pero mali, konti lang yun, okay? Isipin nyo, konti lang. 500 calories in 9 hours. Uh, when you can actually work out and burn 500 calories in 1 hour. So, think about that. Okay. Next. So, Figure out your BMR, that's your basal metabolic rate. There are a few different ways of doing that. The first one is, pwede kang pumunta sa isang mamahaling laboratorio at research facility at test nila doon or some hospitals do it, I, I think. So, test nila yung metabolic rate, papatulugin ka doon, magpa-fast ka ng 12 hours bago nila sukatin kung ilang calories ba na-burn mo in 24 hours. So, one, mahal siya. Two, Medyo sinong gustong matulog sa ospital, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, di ba? Hindi mo alam kung baka doon ka pa mahawa ng sakit. Okay. A second way is to simply use an in-body machine. So, an in-body machine, this can be found at some high-end gyms. Kaso, sarado pa ang mga gym. So, okay, let's buy. Buy in-body machine. Okay. And then, the last one is to use the uh, Harris-Benedict equation or Harris-Benedict formula. 
Okay, so I'm going to dictate that formula to you and I'm also going to use myself as an example for uh, what I got using the Harris-Benedict formula. Okay, so bear with me kasi kailangan kong maging geeky ngayon, mag-math ng konti. So the Harris-Benedict formula is for men, you have to find out your weight in pounds, your height in inches, and your age, of course. So the formula is 66 plus 6.2 times weight in pounds plus 12.7 times height in inches and then minus 6.76 times your age in years. All right. So that comes out to, for me, I actually have a basal metabolic rate of 1,789. So basically, it takes a minimum of 1,789 calories to sustain me or my activities for a day. Activities that are limited to sleeping, sitting, breathing, and basically yung normal body function. So wow, taas yun. Yun palang 1,700 plus calories na because that's dependent on my height, my weight, and my age. Now, uh, this is not 100% accurate, guys, but this is a good estimate, especially for those people who are trying to figure out um, how to track their macros and how to estimate their caloric requirement for the day. So now that we have my BMR, so like I said, what we're curious about is total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. So the BMR or basal metabolic rate, we are going to add three things to that. The first thing that we are going to add is what is known as TEF, okay? The thermic effect of food. So basically, this is the amount of energy required para tunawin ang ating pagkain sa ating mga chan. Okay? Thermic effect food. Wow, yes! Your body uses calories just to digest the food that you ate. So you eat calories, but burning or using those calories requires burning of calories. Hmm. The way to get that is by uh, multiplying your BMR by 0 0.1 or 10%. So basically, lahat ng pagkain na kinakain natin sa isang araw, it takes about 10% of our daily and uh, basal metabolic rate to digest that. And that is your computation for your TEF. So in my case, that would be about 178 calories a day sa pagtutunaw lang ng pagkain. Alright, the next one is to measure your EAT or Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. So Exercise Activity Thermogenesis is basically a measure of how many calories ang ginagamit ng katawan mo sa pag exercise Lifting weights, kahit walking ba yan, aerobics, zumba, uh, may, may gumagawa pa ba nyo yun? I, I think so, meron pa naman yata. <laughs> okay, uh, yoga, crossfit, uh, bodybuilding, weightlifting, whatever it is, your body burns of calories. Now, depending on the activity that you do, high inter intensity interval training or HIIT, or uh, if this is running, your body will burn a different number of calories. In my case, uh, I use an Apple Watch to track my calorie expenditure during workouts. Now, I know you're gonna say, Hey, Tito JD, hindi naman 100% accurate ng Apple Watch. Eh. Yes, I know, but I use it to track. And it's a good estimate, just an estimate. It can be off by about 20-30% to 30 max. But on average, my workouts usually burn me about 500 calories per day during this quarantine period because I'm only using lighter dumbbells. But when gyms were open, it was a bit higher than that. Especially lifting a lot of heavier weights and my workouts lasting a lot longer. Now they're a little shorter, so about 500 calories for exercise activity thermogenesis. So you add that to your BMR, your thermic effect of food, and then EAT. And then finally, the last one is your NEAT or NEAT. Okay, dahil kailangan, dahil we have to be NEAT. Okay. Yung balbas ko is not NEAT, I'm sorry. So NEAT is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This simply means the total of all the activities that you do in a day that is not exercise. So this includes walking your dog, playing with your kids. Uh, it also includes um, you changing, taking a shower, cooking, cleaning the house, whatever else you do in a day, working at an office, so that is your NEAT and depending on how uh, how physical the tasks that you do are so malay mo diba yung pag 
naglalaba ka pala by kamay, kamay ka pa rin maglaba. Di syempre mas mataas yung calories na nasusunog mo sa paglalaba ng kamay kesa sa paglalaba gamit ang washing machine. Okay? NEAT, you add all of those up, your NEAT, your EAT, your uh, thermic effect of food, and then your BMR, and you have an estimate of your total daily energy expenditure. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung ano man yung makuha mong total for that, that is the number of calories na more or less kailangan mong kainin in a day para ma-maintain yung iyong timbang. Pag sumobra ka dun, ang mangyayari nun, over a period of weeks or let's say, several weeks mong ginawa yung pagsasobra dun sa calories na yun, ay bibigat ka or tataas ang iyong timbang. Pag medyo kulang naman ang kinakain mo dun sa calories na yun, ang mangyayari ay bababa ang iyong timbang. Simple, right? Calories in, calories out. Okay? So, like we said, we simply wanted to give you guys an idea of how to track your calories expended. Now, in another video, we'll show you how you have to measure for your food intake and how to measure or how to uh, estimate your macronutrients so that you can also not just lose weight or gain weight but actually build quality muscle or lose fat so we are going to do that for you guys in another video now just remember when you do this it is not 100% accurate so earlier I mentioned that using the Harris Benedict formula I got 1789 calories now, when gyms were open, I took an in-body early this year, an in-body measurement, and I said that you can also estimate uh, calories. It sends a current through you and measures how fast or how long it takes a current to go around you, and then it estimates your uh, BMR based on that. I got 1,850. So, there's a difference of about 60 to 70 calories. It's not that big if you think about it kasi you're not gonna gain weight based on an extra 70 to 100 calories. Remember, one pound, okay, one pound of body weight is roughly about 3,500 calories worth of surplus. Okay? So, for you to gain one pound, it takes about 3,500 calories over your intake required to maintain. So, hindi naman ganun. If mag sobra ka ng 100 calories on a daily basis for one week, hindi ka naman magiging. That's only 500 calories. So, that's one-seventh of one pound. So, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. I hope you liked this video. So, just a reminder, check out our other videos. And if you're not yet aware, we still have that giveaway ongoing. We're gonna give away a pair of Nike Free Metcon 2s. And you just have to smash or gulpihin yung like button dun sa isang video namin. At pag nakaabot na ng 300 likes yun, ipapamigay na namin ng Nike Metcon sa isang lucky subscriber. Alright, so also, please follow us on Instagram if you haven't already, and Facebook. And maraming maraming salamat guys, and I will see you in the next video.